Hello, I'm James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London. And in this short video, I'm going to show you what editing functions you have in Kaltura. Just a reminder, Kaltura is also called My Media, and this is part of the Keats system or Moodle system that we use at King's for our VLE, and many other universities use as well. In order to access the My Media section from Kaltura, you simply click on your name in the top right hand side of your login and choose the My Media option. This will take you to your My Media page on which all videos you have uploaded will be available. In order to edit a video, you can either click on the video title, click on the video itself, or click on the little pen icon on the right hand side. I'm going to click on the pen icon. This takes me into the view window where I can also edit the details about the video. I can change its name, add a description, change various tags and edit the details about this video. But I'm not interested in changing any of those details just at the moment. I want to cut a little bit out of this video because I've realised I don't want it here. So I'm going to click on this button here that says Launch Editor which will, surprisingly enough, launch the Kaltura video editing package. Once your video has loaded on the screen, you'll be presented with what is quite a rudimentary but quite functional video editing program. Let's just highlight what we have on the screen. Within the video editor box, we have three buttons, the top of which is to add a quiz within your video. The second is the video editor, that's what we're seeing here on the right hand side. And underneath there is the ability to add hotspots. In other words, the ability to add URLs and other links within a video. Much the same as you can do in other social media and movie streaming programs. On the right hand side, you have a list of the media you're editing. In this case, our long video for editing. And this is collapsible by pressing this little button at the top here, giving you more space to your video. Underneath the video you have transport controls where you can jump to the start, jump to the end or play. You'll notice that unlike other streaming video applications you are unable to scroll through your video on the bottom of your screen. However this is done using this more complicated editing window down the bottom. Underneath your video you will see this editing window. Within the editing window you can see the total time of your current video and underneath this you can see some thumbnail views of various frames of your video as well as a blue squiggly line which represents the audio. On the left hand side currently you can see the playhead. This essentially is the same as you'd get in other streaming websites where you can look backwards and forwards through your video. By clicking on this little blue icon here and dragging it through your video timeline you can pause, playback, rewind and review through your video and find points that you wish to edit. On the right hand side you have the option to zoom into your timeline. For instance here we see the entire 16 minute video on the screen. If we zoom in we now introduce a scroll bar underneath where you can scroll through your video until the point you wish to edit it. What I want to do with this video is edit out a little bit at the beginning, a little bit at the end, and a little bit in the middle. And you can do all of that within Kaltura. In fact, if you want to do multiple edits, you can do that too. For instance, you can choose to delete multiple sections within a single file, but this would be an iterative and repetitive process where you would edit, save, and then re-edit your file. So just to show you the very quick way you can edit using this software. You've got three buttons on your playhead. The first button, called Split, allows you to cut the video at any time wherever this playhead is placed. Next to this is Set In and then Set Out and they essentially crop your video from the start or the end. So by dragging the Set In button or clicking on Set In when your timeline head is at a certain point in your video, you will start your video at that new point. The same with the set out. The quickest way to do this is to return to the beginning of the video and play back until such point as you wish to make the cut. 
you'll notice that the play head, the little blue vertical line, will move in real time across the screen in time with your video. So if I zoom in, I should see this happening over this first inch or so of the recording. So let's jump back to the start and press play, keeping my mouse hovered over the pause button for when this video fades out. Perfect, I've reached the end of the video and I've paused. So now I can click on this one here that says set in and you'll see that my video is now edited so it starts on this blank screen and not on the logo. Now we've trimmed off the front five seconds, we want to trim off the last five seconds. Our video is now 16 minutes and 27 seconds long. So if I move my playhead to 16 minutes and 22 seconds, this should be able to get rid of the final closing credits. So I scroll all the way to the right and click my mouse. You can see that I can slowly move to the end of the video where the credit roll appears. That's pretty close. There we go, there's the blank screen. And I can click on the set out button and that'll trim off the end. Now I've reduced my video time to 1623 because I've trimmed off the front and I've trimmed off the back. At this point, I might want to save this. If I save it, what it will do is edit this media entry and you will not be able to undo this process. Kaltura itself will have to re-encode your video and it will replace the current video. Because I'm not wanting to destroy this video just yet, I'm going to click on cancel. But if you were to click on save, this would change your video. Let's suppose there was a small section of video in the middle of this stream that I wanted to cut out. I can scroll through, find the piece of video, for instance, this section here using my webcam, and I can click on the split button. This will insert a split in the video where you can drag one part of your video to the left and the other part of your video to the right, leaving a blank section in the middle. Once you are happy with this blank section, you can click on the save button and it'll cut this section out of your video. Now I'm not saying by any means that this is a comprehensive video editing package. Far from it, in fact. It's incredibly basic but it will allow you to do a few cuts here and there and maybe an edit or two if you need to do them. Bear in mind it does rely on you uploading your video to Kaltura and once it's up there it'll then resave to Kaltura. But you can always download your video from Kaltura later and use it elsewhere. I hope this helps.